One, two, three. Back again with another episode. You are joined with your host Anton and also Ola. And today we've got an amazing guest. I'm not going to reveal the guest name just yet, <laughs> but she's an amazing woman. I've seen her on Instagram doing amazing stuff, a number of stuff that's kind of inspirational to me as a man. And it's just so reflective. This how powerful, like, or how powerful this woman is in terms of her creativity and what she does. She's known as a blogger. She also does many other stuff. And if you do follow her on Instagram, you will see that she's very, very, very active. <laughs> I can't even Put speak. I'm very excited. So <laughs> I'm going to calm myself down. Guess, do you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> hi. Yeah, my name is Sabira. And yeah, I would describe myself as a blogger. I write on my blog and create content for Instagram and everything else. Yeah, everything else, really. Do you want to keep on going? What else do you do? <laughs> I also have a separate platform, which is like black empowerment like for women and men well yeah it's aimed I at mean, women it's aimed is that me and i'm like reading the quotes it's aimed now. at women Whoa. but i know the quotes are quite general so but it, it can be applied to everyone but then like the images i use are like black women and the theme is yellow because it's bright and it's positive it's a positive color it's a nice color and yeah i just started that because i wanted another space that was like something inspiring and just encouraging and yeah so i created that space and i didn't really know like what kind of impact it would have mm -hmm. but it has been it has been really nice to see people like share the quotes and message me and be like oh yeah i forgot to say but this has been really inspirational and i'm like oh, you, you took time <laughs> out to then tell me like i don't even care about the fact that the person saw it and then was meant to say something well not even meant to but was gonna say something and didn't and then later on was said like the fact that you even came back yeah, like went that extra mile yeah. of like messaging you and saying, that, you know what? That means a lot. I know it's day, it's day 250, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, it was like it. two years later, but it's fine. Because your consistency you on that is crazy as well. I right, really try, you know. It's been a bit quiet lately. Has it? Because I'm just a bit like, you didn't realise. No. That, I guess that's a good thing, though. I thought you'd do it every <laughs> single day. It was every day, and then I'll be like, there'll be a day where I'm like, oh, I don't know what to write. And then it kind of sits there, and I'm like... What do I say? She's what human. I like? All right, still cool. Good. It's yeah, still yeah. Good though, like. So I'm getting this feeling that you're <laughs> you're very creative. Yeah. Have you always been creative? Uh, I guess. I didn't really know what it meant to be creative. So I was just a bit like, I'm struggling academically. Yeah. But I also know that I'm strong in other areas. But how do I figure out what areas that those are? Um, so like back in school, when it was time for English, the creative writing side, I was like, go away, write a story. Easy. I love yeah. that part. <laughs> you get a B here, Standard. you do it, it's great. When it comes to everything else, I'm like, huh? What's this? <laughs> 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 and it's like, I just, I just didn't know what I was doing. But um, yeah, so I've kind of always known, but I've just not known what to do with it or how to even put that into something. Yeah. Did you stick with it after school? No, because after school, I was like, oh, I'm going to go into healthcare and was adamant I was going to be a midwife. And I was like, I just find the body and just how everything works so interesting. And yeah, that was my goal. And then after a while, I was just be like, I'm a very impatient person. <laughs> I could have a woman who's in labor for like 70 yeah. hours. Like, Look at the like, time. <laughs> come on, like, where, where's the baby at? <laughs> go and I was just trip. like, sometimes I'm not very empathetic. So I was like, maybe this isn't a role for me. <laughs> I was like, maybe I need to like, come into myself a bit more and then maybe that's a role for me but at the time I was like yeah I don't think it is and my mum was a bit like oh damn <laughs> <laughs> look at my daughter look she's doing she this she's doing that the other yeah, day yeah. she was like yeah you it would have been, been exciting to have you as a midwife and then I could have been but she was like it was just for me to be able to say that my daughter's Show a midwife yeah, and I was yeah, like yeah. I'm Thanks. glad she said that because then it, w it took the pressure off but yeah so generally I was like healthcare related yeah. I was like I knew it wasn't gonna be children after like when you do like health and social care they put you on placement and you go in nurseries and i would just sit there like this is not for me, okay, your hands off me. i can't deal with bad breeds i can't <laughs> I I do stop that like now the, the messy i couldn't like it was all right after a while that you get used to it because i was in like four or five different nurseries at some time so it's like you get used to it like i'm just gonna wipe that mess off oh, there this kid's no. screaming in the background all right we're just gonna leave them and then 
some of the things you'd see is where you're like, oh, I just don't think not it's for me. me. Yeah. 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 Unless I could do it myself, <laughs> which is not With your doable. own kids in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> stop that. Stop the screaming. Yeah. Shut up. Clean and it's up. like, you really can't be telling strangers' kids to shut up. So <laughs> yeah. I think it's not just the that yeah. basics. That's not, that's not <laughs> So yeah, after a while, I was like, yeah, it's not for me. So what about this whole journey of like blogging? Would you write before that? No, that was, that's what's interesting to me is how it kind of just came out of nowhere. Like I've always been quite opinionated and had views on certain things, but never really knew what to do with that. So um, it was during the time where like Black Lives Matter was coming up and I was like, I have so much to say. I have so much to say. And I was like, but what do I, what do, I do? And I was like, I'm not going to film myself. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my format. That's, right that's not for me. <laughs> and I was like, let me just write. So I started my blog and I was speaking on like police brutality and injustice and racism. Mm. And then people would read it and I'm like, you really read it? <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, okay. Because you would see people like these important people like Michael X and all these people who sound so articulate and know what they're saying and I'm mm. just like I don't think I know what I'm saying 90% of the time <laughs> <laughs> so it was just it anyway, like it? throwing out there and then hoping it made sense to myself and it was just a sense of like relief really to be honest just to be like okay I've said my piece so and what was that thought process of like writing a blog online was it kind of so other people can read it or was it just more of a a therapy sort of it thing? was definitely a therapy thing and also just to be like just to say I've done it just to be able to say I voiced my opinion on that Area because sometimes done with you the conversation. Read my blog. Yeah, yeah. read it. Read it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not going to this again. Like, no. I'm not going to delete it. <laughs> like sometimes you'd read the articles and it's like either one side or the other, or it's something and you read it and you go, really, <laughs> uh, really, <laughs> really sir. And then I just thought, you know, I'm tired of like seeing what other people are writing and just thinking, nah, it doesn't relate to how I feel. Yeah, and it doesn't really make sense. And it's either read that way or this way. So I thought, let me just write about it and put it out there didn't really think much of it and then for like i think it was like the first year or two i never shared on social media so it was literally like it would go out and it might send to twitter by the time my twitter forum was small anyway so i don't think anyone was paying attention so then my family i don't think they really knew what was happening anyway so then after like a year or two and i started posting it everywhere else it was like oh you're right and i'm like (laughs) yeah uh, yeah i've been been writing i've been doing this (laughs) i'm a blogger i do this i do this was it was it with you sort of saying you're you're are opinionated and kind of writing on Mm -hmm. topics was it any and everything or was it certain topics that kind of like (laughs) touched the nerve so when it started, it was literally race. And then I was just like, everything's happening at once. So there was like, <laughs> <laughs> the last few years like have been a madness. Too. There was, there was oh. so much happening at once. So I was like, okay, let's talk about consent. Let's talk Come about slut shaming. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So oh I was right. literally writing about anything and everything that I was passionate about. And then after a while, I was like, oh, there were other bloggers out there. Because at the time, I wasn't looking at what other bloggers were you doing. on your craft. Yeah. yeah. So then I looked around. I was like, oh, so there's lifestyle. There's food. There's all of this stuff. And Different then that areas. made me want to like write about other stuff as well so i was writing about anything <laughs> again <laughs> like oh there's a tag that i could write like <laughs> it's like five questions it was just random oh, you're doing all that? yeah <laughs> like, like five words to describe yourself and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> number one and then i went like i think it was like that all happened so fast and then second year ish i was i looked back at my blog i was like what is this really <laughs> yeah i was like what is that down and to progress or just yeah definitely after some time of figuring out what it was that i wanted to write about i was like okay scrap everything else we're sticking with race i kind of started talking about natural hair so i was like okay that's a, that's a good place to to go and it made sense with race and talking about natural hair and the black experience as a woman and all that kind of that's stuff that's fair yeah and then yeah, so I kind of made that transition into like, okay, these are the areas I want to focus on. Yeah. And it became clearer because, like, I'm just glad some of those posts are gone because they didn't really make much sense. And then you'd read the writing, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh. Did, well, you, did, you, did, did, it, did it develop you in terms of your education of it? Because I guess from one perspective, yes. it's more just putting your opinion out there. But it was very much my opinion. And then after a while, the posts that done a really good like I got a really, a really good response were the ones where I did my research yeah. so I would mm. link in other articles or this person has said this or the reason why this has happened is because of this and then those would do well because it's a well balanced it's not a rant it's not just because yeah. 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 I love a rant <laughs> but <laughs> I love to rant but at the same time you, anyone can rant yeah. so I think after work it was just that progression of understanding what people want to see and why is it important for you to just rant in this space and not bring other people in also in terms of like oh this article I found really interesting maybe someone else hasn't seen it so put mm. it in there um, yeah 
So it was definitely a bit of like, at first it was definitely running. <laughs> and just yeah, saying no, what I need to say, that. like, two your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is this it. I'm this telling is you. I'm telling you. Because yeah. that <laughs> like we, like with, with the podcast, mm. not to kind of go off on a tangent, um, when we first started, it was first fairly sort of similar where we just kind of speak on topics and that yeah. would be it. But I think when we really got into it, it became that aspect of doing our research before topics, yeah. sharing opinions, and then even now, on certain episodes, we've both looked back on certain episodes and been like, Wait. my viewpoint mm. on that has changed. Mm. changed. Time. There's been mm-hmm. development and growth Definitely. in what I said two years ago. Yeah. So don't need to listen to any past episodes. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Just cancel that I can't even remember, I can't remember just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just let it go. But that's, I think a lot of people don't understand that everything is that process of, you have to learn. And I think we s- all we see like the finished product, so we don't actually see that part where it's like the writing was terrible. There were mm-hmm. so many mm-hmm. spelling errors. Hey. Like you'd look, I'd look at some of my blog posts. And I'm like, this is literally. Is that still what how? Now? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> control I mean, alt delete. <laughs> <laughs> they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Because that's <laughs> the thing. Like a lot of times, people say this. Like, mm-hmm. oh, you don't know about my journey. Yeah. But I can't go back and you look can't at the see journey. it. I want to go to 2000. I don't want anyone to see that. <laughs> That, that first post it's I before E but set up the C what she hey. doing here it reminds <laughs> me of back in school when they used to mark your work yeah. you know, you'd like, oh you spelt this wrong yeah. <laughs> and that's what it would remind me of so when I was like when I got better I was just like yeah this needs to go yeah or you oh, oh what I did was just edit a lot of the posts and change things <laughs> up and make sure it made sense and looked good and <laughs> my research and like if my viewpoints change I do update um some of the old blog posts but mm. a lot of the time it's like no this is what I believe. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> I find that very interesting when people go back and they update like yeah. their opinion or something. Like it shows that element of this is their opinion then. Mm-hmm. And somehow along the line they ma- managed to find a new piece of information mm. or they reevaluated it and they've been like, Well, dated two thousand and nineteen, this is how I feel. And you're yeah. like, Whoa. They actually change from this extreme viewpoint to Yes. You know what? Life is all right. That element of growth. <laughs> that element Which of is, growth, is isn't so it? important to see. And, and I was literally editing a blog post the other day and I referenced the fact that when I started the natural hair journey, my views on hair in general for black women was so different to his today. Mm. And I thought it's important to reference that because it's like I didn't just pop out and was just like, Yeah, natural hair is the best like it wasn't that kind of thing and i don't think it'd be realistic to just say i've always felt that way or just to like skim past the journey Mm. so i did include the part of the fact of like i didn't know what i was doing or how i felt about hair in general so yeah i think it's important to show the progress i think that's the best way because it shows that vulnerability yeah that this was me in my infancy yeah when i had limited awareness this has been my journey and me through my growth Mm -hmm. and you can see it in the writing in our podcast and I like when I watch people on YouTube and stuff like Chunks vs. Yeah, I prefer that because I'm like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I've been following you since. <laughs> yeah, 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 when yeah, your yeah, video yeah. used to cut out, <laughs> <laughs> the lighting was all bad, man's oh face was all gosh, up. But yeah. now I'm like, look at you, you're pro. Yeah, You've moved that into that so massive true. house. I'm like, yeah. People love watching the journey as well. They so I think up. it's important yeah. to be like, yeah, this is where I started and clearly it looks so much more different now. But People like seeing that journey and can actually say, I've been here from the beginning or I've seen this. And it's like, oh, okay. So you see me when the day one, the post went up yeah. and there's two likes. And now <laughs> <laughs> and you're just looking at it thinking, should I delete this? <laughs> should I delete this now? Oh, or oh, <laughs> oh, this. For memories, I'll leave it. <laughs> Knowing where you came from. Yeah, exactly. So like this whole creativity aspect of mm-hmm. you, you starting a blog, it was kind of being... I guess born out of you wanting to share or mm. rant your pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then slowly it became this structural thing where you was doing it on a more regular basis. Yeah. And then eventually, would you say it became like a lifestyle? Yeah, it pretty much, like, yeah. Are you like now itching going, you know what, I've got a blog post oh to my write God. later God. on today. Oh no. My five. notes are a mess. Like <laughs> every minute I'm like, this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I give myself permission to just note down these ideas because... I think a lot of the time I just I'm, I might have an idea and I'm like oh no it's not good enough mm. or who cares or if it, is it interesting and it's like no actually note it down and then a lot of the time I come back to it anyway and a lot of my blog posts are like born out of this random idea I might have had whilst I'm like on my way to work <laughs> and then I'm like okay but how do I make it interesting what do I say or like what is someone going to take away from this so yeah it's definitely more so something i think about all the time <laughs> that's a bit difficult because once upon a time it was just you just going blah yeah now you're refining it because you know there's an audience yeah and you're, you're thinking what can i deliver to them yeah. like what is because time is one of those things like 
how is someone going to invest their time into reading mm. your article? What are you going to give them? What's the value? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess that alters your writing in oh, such a yes, way. Yes, definitely. Especially recently, um, probably like a year ago, someone commented on like the fact that they like the structure of my um, blog post. And yeah. I was like, okay, noted. So I made a note of that mentally and also looking at my blog post, I'm like, okay, someone has told me. They like the fact that it makes sense and it flows. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to continue doing that. Yeah. And also, like, when it comes to, like, thinking of blog posts as well, I just, like, let it flow, to be honest. Just let it go. Just, I just let it flow. But also, I go back to my blog post all the time. So it, I don't feel my writing style is, like, I don't know if it's normal or not. But basically, I'll write, and then I'll leave it. And then, like, a week later, I'll come back to it and write. But the blog post you see, I've come back to it, like, four times before yeah, I've published it. So like it's, it like, stuff. yeah. So it's never, I don't write mm. and then just put it out. So a lot of the time it's like an idea. It might just be the title and a, f- a few sentences. And I go back to the next day and I write it down. And then I just keep going back to it until I'm like, okay, I'm happy with it. Yeah. And huh? yeah, I feel like that's a weird process. But it's not. <laughs> 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 no, that's, it's interesting that you're making those iterations. But yeah. I want to ask, how, on that, how open are you to like, I guess, your readership's opinions? Like if they said, mm. I like the content, but the structure and the way it's been written. Mm-hmm. Mm. Would you yeah. be like, look, this is my thing. <laughs> if you come here, if you come into Respect my house, you take <laughs> <laughs> you like, you know what? Go you back guys, to Google. You guys are the listeners. <laughs> Let mm-hmm. me kind of give you what you want. Yeah. So I do a bit of both. So I kind of like do what I want to do and then ask for the people's responses. So like, I'm like, did you like this? Is this something you want to see more of? If they say no, I'm like, okay, well, we got to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> And there's some things I'm like, I don't even want to ask because I don't want to let it go. Ooh. So if people say that I'm like, I don't want <laughs> <laughs> to say no to it. But I think uh, I'm in a position where I'm like, actually, I think I'm okay. Like, if I do put it out, then I'm like, do you want more of this or not? And then people say no. I'm like, you know, I feel okay to let it go. Or I'm like, maybe I could just change it so I can still do it, but make it interesting. But I'm open. I am open. I feel like it's good to be open and good to want to change. And mm. essentially, when I started, it was just for me. And now I'm like, there's people reading and pay attention. And I think when you said earlier as well, in the sense of like, you, I was just doing it for me. And I wasn't really thinking about anyone else reading it. And now I'm like, people come to my blog and read it every time I post. So I'm like, I see everyone who reads it. Like, I know who's reading what. And wow. then, yeah. like, I already know who's reading it. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I've got to make sure I've included this. Or, you know, like, yeah. someone's asked me a question. I'm like, okay, so I'm talking to this person. Yeah, we're writing yeah, yeah. this. And it's weird, but... Now I'm just very aware of the fact that it's not just me. Like, I'm talking to people and I'm like, oh, wow. What's <laughs> it like? Do you get gassed? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, me too. Because remember, that the, the laugh <laughs> <the law, laughs> confirmed it, you He's know? Like, wow. Because, <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> like, cause like, I don't know how you are with Ant- Anton. When we first started, it was similar with, like, podcasts, <laughs> like, listening. I'm like, okay, I know it's just my mum listening and yeah. she played it twice. <laughs> 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 Yes, mum, for those two views. Adam, mum's not in America. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, this is from Pakistan. What's, <laughs> going, What's on? going on? Where's Japan. Like, wow. like now it's like, you know, you build that yeah. listenership and everyone's like, I rate this, do mm-hmm. more. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'm like, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that what you want to do? Is that what you want to ask? Yeah. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you're here? <laughs> I'm I can't this lie, is what they like, want. Yeah, it does make you feel Give really good. Them. Especially when it's like, I didn't know what I was doing. And, I love when people say I'm just winging it because honestly, yeah, it, it is true. <laughs> I'm winging it. So when people are like, you're doing well, I'm like, if only you knew. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the outside. Yeah, the inside, I'm like, I'm a mess. <laughs> it's it's a mess four of it. iterations. Like, do you not know? <laughs> do you get right? Had, yeah, quite often. But then now I'm just a bit like, if it comes, I just let it go. I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. Yeah. So and there's a flow to it, would you say? yeah kind of i'm just a bit like if i prepare like now i prepare my blog post earlier so like if i do have a moment where i'm a bit like mm. have a bit of writer's book i'm like you know what stuff's still going out and it's okay to have this moment where i'm a bit quiet i think it's hard when it's when you're having writer's book and you don't have anything to go out because then it's like you're aware of the fact that no one's <laughs> watching you or seeing what you're doing and you've got nothing to put out and it is that pressure to constantly push content out and yeah. i'm just like i'm not pushing stuff out if i don't feel for it or if I'm not happy with it so if if I'm in a space where I've had writer's book and there's nothing to come out and I'm looking in my drafts like skimming through all these posts like oh can I can I make one of these work and none of them work I'll just leave it I'll just be like look guys there's no blog post this week (gasps) and it's it's hard because when you get a message like oh I actually look forward to it and I'm like oh (laughs) 
Oh my I'm god. Sh- I'm sorry. <laughs> um, sorry. How could you? <laughs> how could you? I'll make this is my commute. Like, yeah. <laughs> you but basically wrote this 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 article, this post on bloody Instagram. You can't write your, your, your blog post. Like <laughs> oh. And I'm just like, oh whoops. But um yeah, I think people respect the fact that I'm just a bit like you get the post when I give them to you, but also like if it's <laughs> if it's not there, I don't want to force what it. it. You know, it is yeah, what it is. Now, I don't want to force I it. I hear your point, like you don't want to force mm. something that just isn't yeah, real. If like it's, it's not I guess, there, I yeah, can't. It's better to like, okay, we won't give you anything, mm-hmm. but when I come back, best believe you know I'm giving you quality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather give you like, it's all or nothing kind of thing. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. That's definitely my mentality. I'm a bit like all or nothing. And sometimes it's, it's good because it's like, if I'm giving you all, it's great. But when it's like nothing, you're, you are just sitting there like, what mm-hmm. am I going to post? What am I going to do? <laughs> what? So, yeah. What? Sorry, what, what I want to know is like, um, Obviously, you've got the creative industry, you've mm-hmm. got other industries. In other industries, it's a lot easier to measure and see how you can grow in oh terms gosh, of... Yeah. Not even in terms of, like, numbers. I mean, like, personally, in terms of your skills. Mm-hmm. Um, so, with us, obviously, we do loads of podcasts, we practice, blah, blah, blah. How do you kind of, like, continuously improve your writing and your content? Mm-hmm. Like, do you go on, like, courses? Do you look at videos on YouTube? Or mm-hmm. is it just the case that I'm posting every week, the growth is in that? Um, it's a bit of both. There is definitely growth in me doing. I think being practical and doing what you're doing is going to give you that growth because you're going to come across something that's going to be like, oh, I didn't realize this was an issue. And then you're like, okay, how to resolve it mm-hmm. and things like that. So there's definitely like growth in the process. But um, recently, I'm just like, I've listened to a podcast and she was talking about things. And I realized I don't actually like hearing people tell you things that you don't want to hear. Like, it sounds the truth. obvious. The yeah, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> it's literally like, that hurts. Stop I it. had that, that realisation the other day, and I was like, rah, I really don't like hearing the truth. <laughs> don't tell me about myself. So I was just like, feed she me lies. Just, the girl wasn't saying anything bad. She was just like, look, if you don't do this, no one's going to pay oh, attention. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. like, the why? Up, like, why can't they pay attention? <laughs> like, I want to do this. And then, no. I want to take shortcuts. Like, girl. Yeah. Like, let me just, no, let me just let take me just this turn. Like, so I think you have to also put yourself out there to like find resources and things like that as well. It is kind of hard, but at the same time, especially in the creative industry, it's quite new. So everyone's really figuring it out as they go along. So yeah. like the information that's out there could be a bit dated or it's just a bit like, oh, this doesn't really make sense for me or this doesn't work for me. And you hear a lot of like information and advice from other people, but it's like, I just don't know how to apply that to myself and then my audience. And I think because I've, created such a personal ish brand it's hard for me to apply these business or like yeah those professional i guess you could say yeah like points to it because it's like but this is just what i'm doing just being you yeah Yeah. 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 and it's like how do you make that a thing like (laughs) how do you do that how do you make that transition from like personal to like business essentially and the serious stuff yeah and it's mad because like thinking about the business part and any bloggers, I don't want this, don't anyone to take this as hate. Don't, wow. don't write no blog post. Wow. You know I'm worried wow. when I have to caveat. Yeah. But um, I swear. Like, podcast, thanks for listening. Uh, you can find us on Instagram. You can find all our buried. Leave the Apple review. Um, we need that. Thanks. Five star. Thanks. Cheers, guys. Apples. <laughs> Ola, send your shot. Again. Then, no. <laughs> it's not a shot. It's not a shot. But then, probably because I, I don't really read blogs like yeah. that, I just kind of thought blogging was like on the down yeah because so, no because it became more about podcast and yep. like video content youtube then again i don't really r- read mm-hmm. blogs like that i think it, it is hard because when i started i was watching a lot of other bloggers who are now like 10 years in the game and mm. they might be doing well but it's through like youtube and mm. other areas so like blogging isn't the main thing anymore for them but like those are the people i've been watching for years like i've seen them during this moment and that moment where i was like reading their blogs consistently so it is hard sometimes to feel as if like I wouldn't say a blog is uh, like blogging is dying or anything like that, but it is hard sometimes because it's like people have to take the time out to read it, and then that is something that plays on my mind quite a lot when it comes to like writing the blog post. Like, fair enough, I want to put all this information down, but like it can't be all Too these heavy, words. And yeah, no one's gonna read it. So it, it's important to understand who your readers are like if they don't mind like i'm quite fortunate in the sense of like, I, f- I have readers who don't mind a long blog post yeah. so it's the thing of like i've been able to not get away with like writing a lot but like essentially i've been able to write a long blog post and people still read it and then give me feedback i'm like oh okay so <laughs> yeah. to read it. okay you took cool. time out to read all of it yeah. 
So I was like, okay, fair enough. I don't want to take it for granted. <laughs> <laughs> so I have like short on my blog posts down now, but it's it's hard because you do kind of feel like you have to make it interesting. People actually have to click the link and read it. So mm-hmm. it's it's a quite a few things you have to bear in mind when you're writing because it's like it's not something you can just watch visually. And for me, I enjoy reading blog posts, so yeah. it's quite easy. I think just because obviously the industry has kind of changed over time. Yes. Whereas when you because to be fair, as time goes on, attention spans just yeah, they yeah, just yeah. decrease. Because what's the average? The average is what? Wait. It's like what? Four, <laughs> five, six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was only four minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> as our attention, span down, our attention spans go down, apparently our attention span on average is the same as like a goldfish. Yeah. And like when I heard that, I was like, what? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's like because you've got true, obviously true. you've got <laughs> blogging, you've got vlogging, you have podcasts, you have YouTube. There mm-hmm. are so many different mediums Avenues, and ways yeah. for people to like have their attention spread across yeah mm. movies tv box shows subscription like insta so tw- like there's so much going on to get someone's attention to mm-hmm. really pay you real attention and mm. knowing that you're putting out quality stuff it's like, come, come yeah i mean sometimes i do have that battle because i'm like there are times when i'm just a bit like i'm not sure how i'm doing like how to measure if i'm doing well mm. and then there's other times i'm like actually i'm really proud of this blog post and then i'm like i hope everyone sees this please <laughs> 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 because i'm like i really i'm really happy with it and it is that balance of trying to figure out how do I get people, one, to even be here and then also to read my blog posts. I think ha- that's how you're supposed to like balance out social media and like getting people over yeah, here yeah, yeah. and then be like, hey, I also write stuff. <laughs> you like my content? Well, yeah. Well. Click the link <laughs> below. <laughs> 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 subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All those arrows. I <laughs> love your content. Click, I know click, what click. you're about. But I think as a lot of people have said it's been dying. But I think it's important to note we still read stuff all the time. So it might not be a blog post necessarily, but you'll read an email or you'll read an article or something like that. So Someone's Im- caption on Insta. Yeah. yeah. Could those are turning into I mean, into sometimes blogs. those are turning into <laughs> blog posts. Yeah. So <laughs> you, can, you can really get away with it. And I think if you know your audience a bit better as well, you can actually be like, okay, look, my audience are getting tired of reading a thousand words. Let me switch it up on them. Yeah. Or and they're like, I've asked questions. I think it's important to ask questions. Like, look, this blog post is going to be a thousand words. Do you want it or should I cut it down? And if people say cut it down, I'm cutting it down. But if they say keep it, and I'm like, keep oh, it. you okay. really want to read 100,000 <laughs> words? <I'm> like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I guess there, you <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I guess it's also niching down because, like you said, there probably are people who enjoy mm. those long blog posts, enjoy kind of having yeah. the back and forth and the different arguments in some things that are even longer. Like yeah, I'm quite yeah. mixed. Like I get a lot of my arc- articles from um, and blogs from, do you know Pocket? No. Your pocket? Pocket, yeah. It's just an ad gate. It's like, like just oh okay. all like different articles and blogs. Yeah. And like, it depends on the mood I'm in. Sometimes I'm like, no, I'll fully sit here mm-hmm. and read a 2,000 word wow. blog. Okay. I'm like, no, the information in there, the content. Yeah. As long as the content's there, mm-hmm. I'm good. But then other times I'm like, just give it to me short and sweet, Sh- short yeah. and snappy. Four minute video. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. Like there are times I don't read at all. And then there's other times I'm like, this is a whole day of like just reading blog posts and just getting inspiration. And it's a mood thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it definitely is. But I think definitely with technology, there's been advances that's enabled us to have different types of medium yeah. at our hands. Because yeah. once upon a time, the only thing that you could really load up was a website and a <laughs> blog. Load oh <laughs> yeah. You know, when I yeah. said load, it's like, they're slowly it watching it. It was load, like, like <laughs> the, the telephone, the telephone. Bit, oh. <laughs> and Anton <laughs> said, AOL. Oh, what did he say? Like, it's no one picked up the phone for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> But like now you got the media, you got everything like yeah, that, you got social media, you got videos. But I feel like naturally when you're writing, it comes from like a there's more elements of emotion if you do it right through writing mm. rather than video. Yeah. Because some people obviously have depends how comfortable comfortable they are with a video. Mm-hmm then going to hold back certain elements. But yeah. I feel like when you're writing, and if you're writing to yourself and you're thinking about yourself, mm-hmm. innit, you're like, well, today was shit. And this is <laughs> the yeah. reason. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. There's and a lot of freedom in writing. Like, that's what I found anyway. And, and yeah, the vulnerability of just being able to just be like, this is this. And a lot of the time, I'm like, I can write for myself and then go back to it and be like, okay, but if I add in certain words or change things around, it's not just me. It's also like you and us and yeah, me. Yeah, and yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Choice mm-hmm. of words. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really Powerful. important. Because like, I, I have like a, my own little journal mm. that I write in, but there was a time where I had a blog. Mm. And my blog was literally for myself and I didn't share it with anyone. Okay, but it was yeah. a chance for me to just on the go, look yeah. back and be like, rah, I remember how I felt on that day. <laughs> or a relationship going in this sort of way. And it was just like a reminder. And I felt that 
I couldn't do that on a video. No. Mm. Like, I tried this <laughs> day, day 14 and... Um, <laughs> In the Big Brother house. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dark it and you just got one light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but writing it down was just so much easier. Yeah. And... Um, I think there is power in writing mm-hmm. and I feel like, so for me, I try and adopt this thing called a savers routine and one key part of it is scribing, which is just writing. Mm. Whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, just writing down, even yeah. a to-do list. Yeah, yeah. That whole practice of writing something down can actually just like do you a world of good, like yeah. how you feeling today, what you're grateful for. Just something as simple as mm-hmm. that could be amazing. And then if you are someone that's opinionated and you can write that, and other people, and you start using the right language and saying you, mm-hmm. we, collective, and they're like, yeah, I fuck yeah. with that. Then like, <laughs> you got your little community. Yeah, because I'm true. sure you've got a community now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you like, I guess when you're writing now, you're thinking about. I don't know, I'm gonna use random names. Uh, Cassandra, who's mm-hmm. reading, you're like, Cassandra's gonna like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. These yeah. four bars. <laughs> yeah, this is just for <laughs> her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true. I do feel like I can see who I'm speaking to. Which is really interesting, and like I've it's sometimes I forget how important it is to just write, like you said, describing. And I don't do that enough. And then when I do do it, I'm like, wow, I feel so much lighter. Mm. I feel like my head's clear. And then it gets fuzzy again. And then you're like, what do I do? You know, you're just in that <laughs> frantic state. And then that's yeah. like, oh yeah, do a to do list or write something down. And you're like, oh, I feel better now. Just that's <laughs> your time out. Just put it yeah. like before and be like, wait. Mm-hmm. No, it's so true because I have. I guess similar to you, Anton, I've got one of those, you know, these five minute journals mm. where you write in the morning and in the evening okay. and it's structured that yeah, you write your to-do list, mm-hmm. say I'm going to achieve, how you feel, what you're grateful for. Mm-hmm. And by just writing, I'm just like, <laughs> but it's mad because the thing is, I'm not naturally, like I'm more video, mm. video and audio. I, I like listening to yeah, yeah, audio yeah. books. I like watching videos as opposed to like, you know, mm-hmm. reading books and stuff. But doing that, I'm the like, this is all right, you know? I'm Maybe like, it's because it's like, easier to do and it's, it's smaller mm. i think ma- yeah. yeah i'll be honest it took me a while like first i was like yeah, I'm grateful it's, for it's a habit <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm grateful for everything like, well, I need to do. Bad this <laughs> morning. Everything. what am i doing today life <laughs> <laughs> <Well. Done. laughs> that was easy that was five minutes and you're just Whereas looking at like, oh i have to I'm write again lot, i know i'm a lot more i'm, like, I'm grateful for this mm-hmm. but then that happened i found myself writing over the lines as well. Okay. I'm like, wow. man's a novelist. Like, <laughs> me, come on. But Wait. yeah, it's, 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 it's taking time. And I think there's definitely power in that creative side mm. of just writing and being able to express how you feel. Yeah, I think yeah. one thing I do want to possibly at some point do is ex- be a bit more expressive with my writing. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know if you'd ever kind of move into writing stories and stuff. Mm. Or, you know, stuff that's a bit more like made up or creative. yeah 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 you ever considered that i've not actually i mean i did enjoy it in school and i was like this is your objective and you gotta have this character or whatever and i was like oh okay <laughs> let's go yeah <laughs> but like now i'm thinking about i'm like i just don't know what i would write about you could you know what because the thing is there are people be out like here. tim walking down to the shop nah, it would, it i think once so you put random. pen to paper <laughs> honestly you could write the next top boy power the next anything wow i know there's, there's, no, there's people <laughs> writing it, there's it. people writing at home <laughs> okay like, thank they you <laughs> but that's i guess that's like where are you hoping to take the mm. blog or with your hands with you doing so many things in my opinion <laughs> which is great <laughs> <laughs> i find it so interesting <laughs> what yeah. is the next step what, yeah. what have you thought about are you just like you know what i'm enjoying this moment and i believe in it and mm-hmm. where, wherever wherever it takes me i'm happy it's it's a weird space to be in because like on one ha- on the one hand i'm like i just want to live a very simple life <laughs> i just want to enjoy take these days it comes on another half i'm like i want to live life to the fullest <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i want to make that money <laughs> 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 and i want to do everything in terms of like i want to do it intentionally and as true to myself as possible. Mm. So if I could like tomorrow write something and it's like a bestseller, I would do it. But I wouldn't know what to write, first of all. It would have to be a thing of like, I'd have to write a bunch of stuff and I'm like, okay, this is the idea. <laughs> Got it. And like people are like, oh, you're gonna write a book? And I'm like, I write a page for a blog. I'd have to write 50 pages for a, just to like pitch a book. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know if I can write for that long. <laughs> I don't keep my brain focused for that long, but um. Yeah, the journey that I'm on, I'm just embracing it and just seeing what comes with it. But 
like after doing a few public speaking experiences, I was just like, yeah, I really want to do, really want to be in a position where I'm able to like stand in front of someone and be like, this is what's happening. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm, I, I just want to give. I just feel like that's something I really like to focus on in the sense of like I just want to be in an opportunity in a position where I'm able to be like, this is something I do, and I'm able to just give it to the world because that's important to share and yeah especially as like i actually enjoy it i didn't know i would <laughs> and <laughs> i think the Your palms are sweating huh? <laughs> 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 standing up in the stadium <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah the fact that that like being on this journey has meant that i was able to experience public speaking and doing events and things like that so without being on the journey and just kind of taken as it comes i wouldn't have known that's something i wanted to do so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's part of the motivation of like i just want to try everything and then part of me is like yeah but you also got to figure out what you want to do <laughs> and like come to like a decision of something but um yeah for the most part i'm just like i just want to write and just oh, see man. where it takes enjoy me it. and yeah just enjoy it so when you did the the kind of public speaking mm -hmm. what sort of things were you talking about so the first one I did, it was mental health and it was like within the black community. So it was different like poetry and spoken word. That was really good. And that was the first time. And I was like, that's the first time I like been vocal mm. in the sense of like speaking to people about mental health. I usually write this stuff down, yeah. but hi. It's <laughs> like when it's just me and I can write and I'm like, this is how I'm feeling. <laughs> and this is what's going in my head. It's like, and then there you go. <laughs> like just put it out there and then go. But like in standing in front of people like, they're going to think I'm crazy. I'm mad. Like they're gonna think all these things, and then you just yeah, it was an experience that afterwards I came down. And I was like, I want to do that again. Yeah, buzzing. Well, when I was up there, I yeah. felt like I was like, <laughs> 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 like, I felt like I was shaking, and my words were just stammering. And then I, I sat down. And I'm like, you know what? I'll do that again. I was like, I'm mad. Am I a crazy person? Like, is this how it works? <laughs> Are you supposed to be terrified oh, on the stage and then come off and be like, yeah, I'll do it again? Buzzing. <laughs> come on. And then again, it was another event where it was about mental health, and that one was I was more comfortable. I was still a bit nervous, but it was easier. And then I've done another one where I did a workshop to like get women to make their own um, like multi-purpose cream, and that was for me like the point where I was like, yeah, I want to do something where I'm able to be like, this is how you do this, or yeah, yeah, yeah. some kind of like workshop-based um, thing. Because I just that. was like, I didn't realize it would feel so natural to be in a space where I'm like, these women are older than me, first of all. And for me to be like, okay, this is what we're talking about today, and then this is what we're gonna do, and da da da. And I was just like, after I did it, my sister was like, I don't think you realize what you did. She said like, right, that's my sister. My sister yeah. Bits. <laughs> and then I came home and I was like, mum, I just don't like. I can't tell you how I feel because it just feels like I didn't do anything today. And then she was like, that's because you're supposed to do it. And I was like, Your but that's gift, just a yeah, weird yeah, yeah. Wow. feeling. Like, you want to do something and be like, yeah, I'm buzzing. But I just, I couldn't tell you how I felt. But I think I was just overwhelmed by the fact of, like, this is this was good. Like <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, I did that. <laughs> that was me? Yeah. Like, if you used to do, like, a workshop, mm -hmm. let's call it, in six weeks' time, mm -hmm. what would it be? It, well, I'm trying to organise, like, a bloggers workshop where I get people together. Aye. And we can talk a bit about more about blogging and how to actually like get ideas out in the process of writing in general um i get people ask me like how do you get started and i was just like if I really truly i don't know but <laughs> i feel like it's just because i do things and i don't pay attention to what i'm doing <laughs> so i know but it's like communicating that to other people but yeah so you so do a workshop for yeah. bloggers to come along what people starting off or people in the game Every, like Everyone. anyone yeah i think it would be important to have different people in the room and then that way it's like okay you're starting out this person's a year in or four months and it's important to kind of get an idea of people at different stages because i feel like it's important in the first few years anyway of like blogging and writing to just figure out what it is you're doing and just yeah. go with the flow because yeah. You can't really plan what type of writer you're going to be or how you're going to talk about certain things, especially someone like myself who didn't even know this is something I would want to do. So it was really important for me to just go with the flow and just feel it out and just figure out, okay, this is an area I don't want to talk about because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and in this area, I'm like, people like this. I know what I'm talking about. Cool, I'm getting with I that. I like <laughs> it. Finding yeah. your space. Is that all Yeah, it your is space? definitely finding your space and learning to embrace the fact that yeah, this is my little, my little space and I can do what I want with it kind of thing question mm -hmm. um with the writing okay. um so two part i guess what has been your best received post yeah in terms of content reception that sort of thing and what has been your best in terms of one that you've written where, where you're like 
This is, yeah. this is, this is tight. Energy. You cannot, you cannot, <laughs> I you can't, love you this. Can't with me <laughs> if I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, the most real, well received. Hmm. Oh, I did a blog post about um, black fishing during the time it was going around where there was like white women or racially ambiguous, ambiguous women oh, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Coining the fact that they were black or looking black in a sense, and a oh, couple really of cool times, yeah, 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 like a few, yeah. a few times, and I just saw it and I was like, I don't want to say anything, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm tired, and I was just like, fine, I'm gonna say it then. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you no one else talking about it. No, All right, cool. Right, cool, let's go. <laughs> I was like, cool, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I was just like, we, you can't pick and mix with race. It's really not often you can just pick and choose. So <laughs> I was just like let me just say my piece and then leave it as that and then like the fact that people were sharing it and the people who were sharing it as well was like oh you know who i am <laughs> <laughs> like, little, i think that was the point where i was like little old me <laughs> really i just write in my pajamas like, at home, like. <laughs> like, i've got one slipper on that like. <laughs> i wasn't really thinking I've about it i still got sleep in my eye <laughs> 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 The edit, God. Oh, <laughs> wow. That was definitely the most well received. And, like, in terms of one that I was really proud of. Mm. Like, your own personal. Yeah, my personal favorite. It's probably a recent one because I feel like recently I've really just enjoyed what I've been writing. Um, I think it was like the importance of learning, like, time when it comes to growth and just personal growth because it's like, at the time, you just like, I just want to get through this so I know what the lesson is and I know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Patience. And it's only afterwards you're like, wow, I really needed that time and I really needed like five lessons thrown at me at once <laughs> and <laughs> feeling overwhelmed and like you, you kind of needed that terrible time yeah. <laughs> to be like, actually, all right, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> it's, it's clear. But um, yeah, that's probably my favorite that's so sweet, far. Man. But it's so true because that, I guess that builds character, isn't it? Yeah, when definitely. When you're going through those trials and tribulations, that's what kind of Build you and kind mm-hmm. of strengthens you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I can handle five things at once. Come on, come at me. <laughs> five and a half. I mean, please, please. Not too much, not slow, too much. slow, 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 slow. <laughs> <laughs> easy, <laughs> easy. Each one of you. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> Keep on getting up. Have you learned yet? Have you learned yet? Have you learned? <laughs> Literally, okay, that's what it like. Though, like <laughs> okay, I get the lesson. I get it. No, All you right. didn't. <laughs> I would never do that again. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh man. So yeah. um, we spoke about the future. Mm-hmm. What about the other stuff that you do? What do I do? You've got your everyday. Queens. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> not so much. That's why. Oh wow. <laughs> so everyday queens is just. It was just for me to like have a space for black women about wellness really because I just felt like it was important for black like being on your journey of like understanding yourself figuring out who you are and everything like that I was just like wow it's a whole other experience as a black person Mm. like you look at certain industries and certain movements and things like that and it's like yeah that looks great and yeah we're moving forward but at the same time it's like it's a whole other experience for someone who isn't white so it's like I wanted to kind of pay attention to like, okay, some of these things might seem basic to other people in terms of like looking after yourself and putting yourself first and things like that. Some people might be like, oh, I've always <laughs> felt like that. And it's like, for some, based around culture and just religion and things like that, it's like, I don't know how. Mm. And me as well being in the process of learning how to set boundaries and say no and yeah. like all that kind of thing and understanding to put yourself first and then not doing that and then feeling guilty and then... <laughs> Like all of these things that go, and I was like, fine, I just want a space to talk about that stuff and that experience, and then bring other women into the conversation as well. I didn't really want it to just be about me, mm. but then it was quite hard to like get people to be like, you can't just go up to him like, hey, I'll need you to be vulnerable <laughs> and just open yourself <laughs> up to strangers. <laughs> to strangers, <laughs> like it's okay for me to do it now that I've been in it for a while, but it's like, I, I mean, you can't really look at people and go, hey, so could you just share these really deep moments with me? <laughs> and I'm gonna post it online, and then people are gonna share it around. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll get back to you on that. Just me then. <laughs> So it starts, yeah, it's, it's me basically running that space. And I did start a blog for that as well. And I think there's like three blog posts on there. But it's, yeah, I think I just need to manage my time better so I can blog and that, blog and here. And there's a lot of stuff I want to do. Yeah. But it's just like making sure I have the time and then figuring everything out. But, but like I guess from the aspect of it just being a social profile, it, yeah. it has its impact in And its then way. having like mm. a space where I'm like, let's start from the bottom up and then create a space where it's like, it's okay to come in at any part of your journey and understand what's going on or figure things out. So, like, the first post I did for the blog was, like, 
self-care essentials mm. which is basically just like making sure you have time for yourself and mm. reflecting and like there was just certain things i was just like anyone regardless of financial situation and money and things like that or just your lifestyle if you set that time you can do certain things and then i can't remember what the other it was like three or four but i can't remember what they were um which isn't great because <laughs> 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 now i'm like huh <laughs> i wrote it but i wrote I it and I do it. Can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Take your but time like, out. That's it. Yeah, it was it was important for me to figure out. Okay, what is it that I needed to kind of hear on this journey mm. and see, and then create that into some blog posts or create that into some content. And sometimes I'm a bit like, oh, but my journey is different to other people, and it's like, yeah, but at the same time, we will start somewhere. Yeah. So mm. trying to make sure that space kind of reflects any point of the stage of like you're in a point where your confidence is really high and you're going for these things and s- still imposter syndrome comes or you're feeling unsure about certain things i just wanted it to be a space where it's like it's okay to just you know figure things out and yeah it's less it's let it be. yeah true it's let it be. so what's like the biggest thing that you've learned like looking back or one thing that if you could go back in time you would tell like your past self in terms of this journey like what would you mm-hmm. do different don't do or that. what did you learn <laughs> 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 i think don't like telling myself to h- not hold back is something i would have done like i would have just said earlier on i probably would have said like just let it go like do what you gotta do mm. um and say what you gotta say because it's important which is like it's weird because you kind of need to be on that journey to understand how important it is yeah okay but i always find that like the blog posts that do the like get the best response are the ones where i've like felt like i shouldn't post that or shouldn't <laughs> write this which is really interesting because it's like i have this battle and then i post it and i'm just like, oh i just don't know how and it's like ping ping, ping and you're like oh okay, okay. <laughs> like a comment here like this was really good and i was like you don't understand like <laughs> this didn't cu- nearly didn't come out <laughs> so i think understanding that i just need to be on that process and just letting go and not holding myself back in that sense i think that would be something i'll tell myself but yeah it's a journey, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it's definitely, definitely a journey. journey. It's just one of those things of it's, it's vulnerability, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a natural thing that we allow just to naturally just to come happen. Out. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, there are <laughs> people like that. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. So da 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 da, and I had a dodgy stomach, and this happened, and you're like, yeah, no. th- those people there, I respect them because I'm just like <laughs> no have filter. zero inhibitions to the point <laughs> they where they just tell just, all. They tell you everything, and you're just you like, everything. I don't know if this is because you think. <laughs> I'm the best person to tell, or Boy. if this is just you with everyone. You're so easy to talk to. Mm? Uh, <laughs> am I? <laughs> yeah, they're on Twitter, like under the desk. Yeah. <laughs> like, you cannot believe This will make a great oh. tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I met this girl and she's chatting the world. Yeah. <laughs> her man cheating on her with his sister, <laughs> and oh. she's telling me this and saying that she's cheating on him with his best friend. Wow. People are like that. Well, anyway. it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's all a bit much. Yes. Um, mm. One thing that I feel is so important mm-hmm. is that whole self care element. Yeah. And you, you, you kind of picked out two things, which is giving yourself time. Mm-hmm. So taking that your time and doing right by you, whether yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. breathing, whether that's <laughs> just stopping, whether that's, I don't know, drawing a picture, whatever mm-hmm. it may be, making that time, but also setting up boundaries and saying no to things yeah i think that's a powerful one so powerful because i find that a lot of times we try and please people we try and do right we want to be perceived in a certain way yeah that a lot of times we sacrifice our own Hmm. being in that sense of like saying no yeah yeah. and uh, you know if you say no you kind of say no to yourself and it's like or if you say yes to someone you say no to yourself and it's like why would you do that to yourself but that in a whole is a journey yes definitely so like self-care is definitely a thing that is There's so so many levels i think for me like going on this journey i was like everyone looks so like happy and like <laughs> yeah i know myself i'm zen and i'm, with, I'm like one with myself and you look at you like oh yeah that's what i want i want to be <laughs> i want to be so like level comfortable two. myself and so happy <laughs> and then you like step in and it's like the door shut behind you you're like oh right okay and you can't filter what you have to deal with so it's like okay today the lesson is someone's come with this issue how do you set that boundary you're saying look i can't deal with that today mm. whilst you also got this happening and that happened at the same time and then something else co- and it's like hold on <laughs> how am i supposed to deal with this one issue when everything but it, it really doesn't come at you when you kind of need it to or like at the pace you need it to it's like yeah. self-care is that is there's there's levels and 
I really commend people who are like, yes, this is the journey I'm going on because if I could go back, I would have told myself, look, be prepared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I was like, I'm not an emotional person. Da, 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 da. Like, I can't stop crying. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then you just, at this point, I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> accept it. But you I just have it. to accept that your body just needs to release because, yeah, it's important to do that. And then you kind of like learn. You've been holding yourself back, so it wasn't that you're not emotional. It was the fact that you like you didn't allow yourself to be emotional. And then that sentencing of just letting you be. And it's just constantly asking yourself questions, and then looking at this and like, is this it? Is and then you're like, am I looking at it too deep? No, no, no. (laughs) Is this because of this thing? Is it childhood? And it's like it just doesn't end. That's my brain. (laughs) 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 You're literally just sitting there like I've got (laughs) so many tabs open. Oh my god, I know them ones because life comes at you fast. So fast. Why are you coming fast? Why are you coming fast? (laughs) (laughs) I was thinking about that, brother. I was like, that guy has come and gone so fast. (laughs) Everyone's forgotten about. He knew what he was talking about. He knew what he was talking about. It wasn't just that situation. It was. It was everything. Life. Everything. Life was coming fast. But yeah, with that whole, I guess. Self care and self love. Mm. There's this thing that I'm like, you know what, this bangs, and it's like, you can't pull from an empty cup. And oh, it kind of yeah, relates yeah, that yeah, point yeah, of yeah. being able to say no to people mm. and understanding that no is a complete sentence. Yeah, no yeah. yeah. Oh like my that. gosh. <laughs> but why? Because you got some, like you got to <laughs> yeah, take yeah, time yeah, up for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, no. This is for me. Like you're, you're good. You got yours. You, you can get upset because I haven't given in to you this time. Mm-hmm. But I need to look out for myself. That, just that very saying of saying no and full stop. Full stop. Yeah. That was such a that hard thing. That was a thing. lesson. But it takes I mean, long I'm to get there. there. Because you know, like, if you long. tell your parents no, yeah. full stop, uh, hey, it's what murder full instead. Stop? Where, Where is it? You are the full stop. <laughs> you are the full stop. <laughs> the full stop is the stopping the here. Stop. It stops <laughs> here. <laughs> like, could, I, could you even say no and then leave it as that? But I feel like that relationship, you're like, no, this is why, but, but mm-hmm. I can't do it now. But I feel like once you have that adult relationship, you have to just say no. Yeah. Mm. And if someone's like, why? Because it's, I want to do me. It is what it is. It's really difficult. And it's quite scary as well to be in a position where you're like, okay, I'm going to take on this task of saying no when I want to <laughs> say no. And then realizing when you actually put that into practice, it's like, if I say no, I, I can't have to like turn my phone off because <laughs> I don't want to hear the response. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. see what's the, the repercussions of me saying no. But I like, think that comes from a place where people are so used to you saying yes. Yeah. And, that and then you kind like, of like beat what? yourself up because it's like you shouldn't have let it get to this point. <laughs> what do you mean you say no? And you're just like, <laughs> you're like, never mind. Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. I thought you was gonna be there. So the one time I'm not there, that's when you want to make a big hoo ha about it. Yeah, mm. and it's always that one time you say no as well as you feel the worst. And it's like, but I've said <laughs> yes ten times. And the one time, and the I, one say time no. I say no, I thought you was a like, friend. No. I thought you were there for me. It's hard. I'm on a journey and I'm learning that it's really difficult to be honest and with yourself. Like, I had a lesson the other day and I was like, that hurt. (laughs) What, with yourself? Yeah. Was it internal conversation like hitting yourself a question? It was kind of like, so I was speaking, So there was a situation where basically I said to someone I couldn't make whatever it was that was Mm. their, their event or their birthday. And at the time I was in my own head, so I wasn't really thinking. And I'm the kind of person I like low maintenance friends, like where I can <laughs> message you once a month. That yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> you good? Like, yeah. All right. Cool. Speak to you next month. I'm, I'm <laughs> like I don't really like to do the thing where I message people often. So I sent that a message, and then I was speaking to my sister. I was like, she hasn't respond responded. And my sister was like, what did you say? So I told her, and she was like, yeah, you sound really cold. I was Oy. like, well, why? All I did was say I couldn't come. <laughs> and she was like, no, but you didn't say sorry. You didn't explain. And I was like, oh. And then I had to like realize that I can't, you can't really treat people the same way. Like every, you can't treat everyone Everyone's the same different. basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And everyone has different needs. So it's, where's one person I said, I can't make it. They'll be like, it's okay, I understand. And someone else is like, why? Or, or like, what's wrong? Or Where was the apology at least? Yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah, it yeah. made me think like, okay, I can't just treat people how I think is acceptable to be treated and everyone's different. And yeah, I had to learn that lesson. I was like, cause I was just a bit like, yeah, I'm just calm. That per- like I'm just cool with it. <laughs> like I've just laid back. And then she was like, no, you're just cold. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right then. But that's more of a reflection of your, like yourself, not in a, yeah. in a, in a bad way, but it's just like, if someone can't make it to like your event mm-hmm. and they said, no, can't make it. Mm-hmm. You're accepting to that. You're not expecting. I might be like, oh, 
But you don't and then it's be like, like, yeah, but then I, I just, yeah, you don't really you keep think it. You're not going to be like, oh, that person's cold. You're yeah, going to be like, yeah, oh, yeah, this is yeah. weird. But and that's what it was. It was a lesson of understanding. Just because I'm okay, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't mean, mean yeah, someone yeah. else is okay. That, and they had oh, to. It's hard yeah. because it's like. That is people. Like, that <laughs> uh, it's conflict right there. Because there's a lot of things I'm like, that doesn't bother me. And someone's like, but this bothers me. And I'm like, oh, okay, sorry. You're asking me to change my behavior because of you. Okay. I didn't realize I was stubborn until those moments come at me and you're like, but I don't want to change. I don't want to do anything. I like it this way. Yeah. But I feel like people are always going to place a label on you. But it's of more course. determined yeah. by their own kind of yeah. way they treat themselves. It's kind of come into a space where it's like, look, this is me, but I'm open to change. I'm open to being like like different with other people based on like what their needs yeah. are. Yeah. And, and then we used to look at love languages as well. And that's important because oh. that's just... that. At first, I was like, love language is so interesting. And after I was like, oh, wow, this is pretty much... Relates to everything, <laughs> <laughs> like everything. Even <laughs> and on you this can't, point, like, what, what can you do? Because apparently, there's um, there's apologetic languages as well. Wow, oh, wow. Everyone, your people are receptive to different ways of. I'm done seeing and accepting See, apologies and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not gonna Google because I don't, too wanna, many, I don't too, even want to go into too many it. levels. <laughs> I'm like, there's too many. I'm like, let's uh, just leave uh, it. I recently uh, saw attachment theories. So I was like, this yeah, is it. Yeah, yeah. This is it. I yeah. don't know what to do now. <laughs> and then when you read the I was like, oh, what? It's a lot. But people are coming up with bare ideas. They're like, yeah, this sounds good. Yeah, yeah. The reason you act like this is because X, Y, and Z. You're like, really? And they're like, yeah, what's your star sign? That explains <laughs> why you had that Libra for season. Come on. Oh, you're a Scorpio. <laughs> Wait, so funny let me guess, you had bacon for breakfast. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> it was so funny because this year, it seemed like Leos were so loud. Because, <gasps> like, normally around oh, my, my birthday, my I don't really see much. But then. For some reason, everyone was putting out memes like, oh, Leo season's coming up. They're all about to shout about it. I was like, I'm not going to say anything, but oh. I, I'm pretty sure I did shout a few times. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday's coming. Hey, <laughs> my birthday. It's my season. Yeah. It's my year. It's this, it's that. I don't know enough about star signs. There's just a few things. I'm like, oh, that's because you're all right. And Do you then that's about it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's only today I, I was watching it. a YouTuber and she was talking. I was like, what is it about her? Like, I've picked up on something. And I was like, but why does she do that? in a box. Like, why did she do that? And then I was like, oh. Then she mentioned Scorpio. her star sign. I was like, oh. That makes sense. Right. So they, like, compatibility, like we that. don't really get on. So. <laughs> they be like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, obviously, there are so many other things that contribute to the person. But, like, it's so, it's interesting to think, oh, just the time that you're born. Somehow Could you're all in the same on. group. And yeah. you act the same in certain areas. You're like, huh? So it's quite interesting, yeah. But yeah, I guess you have to treat everyone differently. Yeah, and I, I and for are. me, I just take information from a pinch of salt. Like I'm not going to go into a room and say, "Well, everyone's told me these men from this school, this <laughs> horoscope is terrible, so I'm going to avoid them." Part of me was like, "I'm just interested. What's happening over there?" <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> like everyone said, "Don't go there." So I want to see what's happening. <laughs> oh man! But like, let yeah. me get burned. Oh damn! That's the reason. <laughs> they told me. Fire's <laughs> 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 hot. <laughs> Stay away from <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> okay. But I think, yeah, you just got to take, take it with a pinch of salt. Like, I wouldn't live by Someone star else. signs and yeah. everything like that. Like, it, it's all, like, related to you, I guess you could say. It's a journey, isn't it? It's a yeah. journey of life. Just experience it, learn from it, take time out. Yeah, Enjoy take what you want well. from it, and then the rest of it just dash. <laughs> Care about it. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. And then it comes back to haunt you, like, oh, oh my god, <laughs> this is the lesson. This is why it happened five times. <laughs> this comes around too many times. All right, oh. I feel like we're we're gonna bring it to yeah. Ends. Um, is there anything you want to plug? Oh, I'll plug my book, my, my book, book. <laughs> <laughs> blog, my blog. blog. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find my um where I write on my book um at sabirolawrence.com, which is just my my name. Um, yeah, we'll plug the links. And then yeah, you can put the links. Um, Instagram is my name as well, Sabira Lawrence, and then Twitter is Sabira L Blog. Um, and then Everyday Queens, yeah, yep. is on Instagram as well. It's in my bio, so you can see that if you see. If you want to be lazy, just click. Through yeah, through click through. Yeah. Just click Get through. through. It's easy. It's alright. <laughs> I won't. I won't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, find the app. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Um, yeah, I think I think that was it. Yeah. yeah. I feel Any like events or anything coming up? Uh, no. Well, I have next month, but I haven't said anything yet. So, so if people want to find out, you will post yeah. it. Yeah, like yeah, I'll I'll be posting anything right, if there's cool. any updates and everything. But probably soon that I'll announce that I'm w- doing an event somewhere, something. 
That's cool. Man. Brilliant. Uh, Olo, it's our time. Brilliant. To it's our time for a quick little plug. <laughs> All right, people. <laughs> Thanks for listening in as always. You know where you can find us. Tag me in podcast. We are on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. We can be emailed at info at tagmeinpodcast.co.uk. And as always, thanks for listening. Keep it locked.